One of the most compelling features on the phone is the Opera browser. So we're going to go down to the Mobile Burn bookmark and pull it up in the Opera browser because the combination of Opera, the TouchFlow 3D, finger extensions, and a VGA display uh, is kind of special. Finally, on a Windows mobile device, you've got something that can compete directly with the Safari browser on the iPhone. And there it's done. Let's see, we can move around with the finger quite easily. You can double tap to zoom in on a column. Move around from there if we wish. Double tap again. You can also use the scroll wheel down here, the zoom wheel, to zoom manually. Zoom in here, grab a link, touch cruise review. It's pulling down the data over Wi-Fi right now. There's the review, the page is almost loaded. You can see everything is true to form. It's, you know, ads, which are great for us. All the pictures, easily zoom in to read what you're looking at. It's quite nice. This little button down here brings up the Opera menu, hit the bookmarks, This is the YouTube video player on the HTC Touch Diamond. I'm going to use this to show videos and also to show you how the various virtual keyboards work. You can see this is a full QWERTY keyboard. It has a very iPhone-like look to it. When you hit a key, it gets larger so you're sure what you're hitting. In order to get punctuation marks or numbers, you just long press. So to get a 7, I'm going to long press the U, 5, Oops. Hit enter. Let's see if we can find our review, and there it is, first one. This is the video we did of the HTC X7510 Advantage. Again, it's pulling down all the data over a Wi Fi connection. Video quality is fantastic. Very, very clear. Pretty good experience for in terms of YouTube viewing. And you have access to all the videos as opposed to the iPhone just uses the specific versions that YouTube has made for them. This is the camera on the HTC Touch Diamond. It makes use of the touch screen for its controls. Bring up the settings here. A little bit hard to see, but you can toggle through the basic settings like white balance just by tapping on the screen. Back to auto mode. Digital zoom, 3.2 megapixels. Takes pretty nice photos. The white balance is sometimes a little bit out of whack, but you can usually fix that by choosing a manual setting. But overall, it's pretty good.